the Aboriginal population in Catherine is so, di so diverse, you know what I mean? We have Western Australian people here, we have Queensland people here, we have South Australia, they're all identified as stolen generation. But realistically, their return to culture is not appropriate in the cultural groups here, you know what I mean? I think to have that real cultural knowledge and connection, you have to be living on the community every day. How do you support those people, you know? First and foremost, we've got to make those connections back to those um, our elders. Just getting them and empowering them to be respected and for their knowledge to be recognised. The youth in our community have got huge identity issues um, due to this lack of knowledge, family history, because our, our, our mothers and fathers didn't actually talk about their experiences very much. What they want is actual uh, recognition, acknowledgement of what actually happened to them. The service providers out here have Aboriginal Stolen Generation clients and yet they are unaware of the Stolen Generation history or their stories. One of our main things is to, is to empower our people to grow and develop without ha being in that client mode all the time. They're always somebody's client, you know. We don't, still don't see ourselves as equals. We can't be assertive, we're either submissive or aggressive. And we have to empower our people to start taking charge and, you know, making changes. It's just empowering people to develop socially and emotionally and economically, you know. Because um, we've got very, very strong people out there mm. that have got a lot of knowledge, you know what I mean? They just need the support, that next step up.